This is crooked. The shirt is so weird. I'm getting in the really bad habit of buying clothes without trying them on, and I just put this on, and I was like, what the hell did I just buy? I don't get how this goes. It looks like a tablecloth, but that's what we're wearing today. Um, so hopefully I have everything here because there is so much going on in this video. I have a grill, I have some, this is some Korean chicken that I made. Damn it. It's almost all the way cooked, but I'm just gonna finish frying it off on here. Look at me with my grill, you guys. I'm so legit. This is popping out at me. Then I have some cheese fondue that I made. Ah! Oops, I got some of the chicken stuff in it. <laughs> the chicken was already cooked, it's cool. Woo! This is gonna get all bubbly. So this is mozzarella cheese with milk, butter, garlic, and cornstarch. So it made kind of this liquid cheese fondue. And then, I have a drink that I wanna make, but I wanna try this first. Wait. Oh my God! That is so good. It almost tastes like a, a really cheesy like Alfredo sauce. Ooh, yes. Oh, also I should mention in this video, I'm gonna be talking about rude celebrity. no, not rude celebrities. I'm gonna be talking about rude YouTubers that I've met. I was originally gonna make a video about rude celebrities that I've met, which I do still wanna make that video, but I'm gonna have to make sure that I tell the stories in a way that you guys can't figure out who I'm talking about, because some of the people that I have stories about are very famous, and I don't wanna get like screwed over or sued or I don't know, kicked out of Hollywood forever. So I have to figure out a way to tell those stories in a way that won't get me in trouble. Uh, but today I'm gonna be telling you guys about rude YouTubers that I've met because I've met a lot of YouTubers. I do not get this grill. It goes from like boiling, sizzling hot to like turned off. Let's try this with the cheese. The sauce I use for this is so good. I'll show you guys what I use at the end because it's downstairs in the kitchen and I forgot to bring it up. <gasps> oh my God, it's like so sweet. And then it's spicy at the end with the cheese. Holy crap. Ow, I just burned myself. <laughs> oh Jesus. See, now it seems like it's all turned off. I don't get it. Anyways. Mm, oh my God. The meat is so tender too. I marinated it for like two hours in the sauce. Mmm. Okay. Today I'm making, I'm super excited, Thai tea boba. This is just some brewed Thai tea that I made. Uh, so I bought this. Just bags of tea. You can find this on Amazon or I actually found this at World Market. So that's where I got this. So we got some ice in there. Now, the best part. Oops, I need the spoon and there's cheese all over it. I don't know how to do this. I suck at making videos. Anyways, so I have some boba here that I made. This is my first time making it. Look how cute. I feel like they're gonna slide everywhere. Boba balls. They come dried like this or you can also buy them frozen. They're very, very easy to make. They're just very, very high maintenance. Like you have to cook them for like an hour and you have to change up the temperature, keep stirring them and stuff. But they are very easy to make and super, super cheap. This, this big bag of them was only like $2.50 at the Asian market. Once you finish cooking them, you're supposed to rinse them in cold water. And then I added a little bit of honey to them so that they have some honey juice in the balls. So you got that. I don't think, you, can you guys even see that? I don't know. So to this, I'm gonna add some sweetened condensed milk, 
Sweet and condensed milk is so good. They use it a lot in Vietnamese iced coffee. They use it in a lot of like Asian drinks and snacks. You can find this just at the regular grocery store. I have some boba straws. So let's use that to stir. Stir up the milk. So that's gonna be kind of like the sweetener part of it. Just to top it off and just so it's not super sweet, I'm just gonna add some half and half to make it a little creamier. So beautiful, oh my God. Thai tea is one of my favorite boba flavors. Yay, okay, let's try this. Yes, 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 yes. It's perfect. Mm. They're perfect. I was worried that they might be too undercooked, but they are chewy. I'm adding more sweetened condensed milk to make it sweeter. Alrighty, so that's what I'm drinking today. Oh, this thing is humongous. Mmm. I feel like this video is gonna be like a thousand minutes long. Sorry guys. I haven't even gotten into my stories yet. Ow, I keep burning myself on this edge. <laughs> Holy crap. This chicken is so soft. This has to be literally one of the best things I've ever made for a video. Oh my God. All right, I should get on to my story. Let me flip some of these around. I'm so happy. I totally thought that I was gonna screw something up here. The only thing I did screw up is I put too much butter in the cheese fondue, so it's a lot more like liquidy than stringy, but you can kind of watch it as you cook it and make sure that you get the consistency that you want. But it tastes so good and definitely add the garlic to it because it's so good that way. I'm gonna make like a lettuce wrap. Sorry, right, I'm gonna get into my story soon. I just can't stop eating this. I got this lettuce wrap idea from a YouTuber named, I forgot what their name is. It's two girls that make videos, but they made this. I got my recipes from their video. Oops. Oops. Mmm. <laughs> That is really, really good. It's nice and fresh. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get into my rude YouTuber stories now. Um, I've talked about this in stories before, but I used to be friends with so many different YouTubers. I used to go to a lot of different YouTube events and stuff. Even when I didn't have a YouTube channel, I don't know why I would go to so many. It was kind of weird. So I'm gonna start off, which story should I start off with? I'll start off with this, the easy one. So, so one time I went to this party and there were a ton of YouTubers there. It wasn't like an event, it was just like a party that someone threw at their house. I don't even remember how I would get invited to these, but I was there and I saw a YouTuber there who, I feel like you guys are gonna very easily guess who I'm talking about here. So I'm gonna feel bad, but whatever. This YouTuber, she's been around for a really long time on YouTube. Her channel is not super popular or active, but she's just been around forever. And I'd seen some of her videos before. She would kind of talk about her social anxiety and social awkwardness in her videos. And um, she seemed like a very, very nice girl. She just always talked about being kind of lonely and, you know, struggling with that kind of stuff. So, Oh, that was hot. <laughs> I saw her at this party and pretty much the entire night she was by herself on her phone. 
after like a few hours and I noticed that she was by herself the whole time, I finally went up to her to say hello. I didn't really know what to say because I didn't really watch her videos that much. But I just want to say hi because again, I thought she came off as someone really, really nice in her videos. She just seemed kind of shy. So I went up to say hello. And this bitch. <laughs> she had her arm kind of crossed over her and she was on her phone like this by herself, kind of standing in the corner. And I went up to her and I said, hi, oh my God, your shirt is so cute. Something like that. Like I definitely went up and I complimented something that she was wearing. Cause I feel like that's the easiest way to start a conversation with someone is just like, give them a compliment. And they're immediately like happy and on your side. And she looks up at me again. She's kind of arms crossed on her phone. She literally looks up at me. And then she gave me one of those like super fake smiles that you give someone when you're just being polite. She just went, and then she went right back to her phone. Like she did not say a single word back to me. She didn't say thank you. She literally gave me just that fake smile and then went back to her phone. Like I didn't, like I didn't just approach her and say something to her. So again, I'm like, maybe I just approached her at a really bad time, but I've never gone up to someone to start a conversation and straight up been so rejected like that. <laughs> But it was just weird and now I've seen some of her videos recently and her channel is like not doing very well so I just figure that that's karma for being mean. She's friends with so many different YouTubers so maybe she only chooses to talk to ones that are like famous ones <laughs> but I thought that that was very rude. rude youtuber I came in contact with wasn't actually in person it was actually on tinder if you have tinder in LA you will see so many youtubers on it I think it's just because so many youtubers have no social lives including myself so you kind of just see them all on online dating stuff ow oh. ow holy boy oh that just Burned my tongue off. It's so good though. So anyway, I matched with this guy and I didn't know that he was a YouTuber at first. His profile said that he worked at YouTube, but I didn't know if that meant that he was a YouTuber or if he worked at like the YouTube offices, YouTube space or something like that. And I had never seen this guy before. I did not recognize him at all from anything. So I matched with him. And from his pictures, he looked like he could be attractive and we started talking not that many messages maybe only like four or five messages back and forth and it turns out that he's a youtuber and he sent me over his youtube channel and this guy is literally like in the top 100 youtubers on youtube like he has so many subscribers his channel is huge i've legitimately have never seen this guy before i've never even heard of his username which is so weird but i went in to watch some of his videos And this will make me seem like a rude bitch, but I realized once I watched his videos, I really wasn't attracted to him. A lot of attraction, I think, is based off of someone's way of speaking, someone's voice, someone's mannerisms. Like, I get comments all the time that are like, oh, I thought you were pretty until you started talking, or like, I hate the way your voice sounds, or whatever. I think it's totally understandable. I think that's a legitimate thing. And yeah, I watched his videos and I was like, mmm. I know that's rude, but it was the truth. And I didn't know what to respond on Tinder, so I didn't log on to the app for like three days. Because <laughs> I'm a coward. I feel like we've established that. And in those three days, he sent me, it was like six or seven messages in a row. And the first couple ones that he sent me were like kind of nice. They were like joking. They're like, oh, like I guess you didn't like my videos. And then they progressively got more and more nasty. <laughs> the last Tinder message that he sent me was so nasty. It was like, you effing Tinder bitches are all the same. Wasting my goddamn time. Like, it was so nasty. There's a lot more inappropriate stuff that he said. But I was so shocked that he, like, got that upset because I didn't respond. Because, again, at that point, we had exchanged literally, like, four messages. And I know it was rude of me to not respond. 
but um yeah he like cussed me the f out on tinder and now i'm like kind of embarrassed because he doesn't know that i have a youtube channel or anything but i'm just worried like if i see him around la somewhere if i see him at a youtube event if i go to vidcon and see him or something i'm just really scared that he's gonna recognize me <laughs> i hope he doesn't i can't imagine that he would but yeah that would be really awkward so uh yeah i thought that was kind of rude but it was rude of me to not have responded but i didn't know what to say like oh i thought you were attractive until i heard you talk like it's kind of <laughs> that would have been rude too so i don't know that was that was a mess and hopefully i never run into him in person because that would be so embarrassing <sighs> this is a very healthy vegan friendly meal I have one last story I'm going to tell you guys that's a little bit more confusing. Hopefully you guys get it. Mmm. The last story takes place a few years ago. I think I have food on my face. It was at a concert. It was like a YouTube concert. It was called the Digi Tour. I don't know if it still is going, but this was a while ago. This story is not really a rude YouTuber. It's kind of more of like a douchebag YouTuber. So if you guys watched my video called, it was pizza and pasta, I think, is where I made meatballs. But I told, um, I told the story in that video about my first kiss being this famous YouTuber that I really liked. I hate using the word famous with YouTubers because I feel like YouTubers are not famous. But I just mean like a well-known YouTuber. If you guys remember that story, um, he's in this story too. So... This was before the first kiss happened, um, which if you didn't watch that story, my first kiss was at VidCon with a YouTuber that I really liked because I'm that much of a freaking loser. This was before the VidCon stuff happened with this YouTuber. I ran into him at this concert called DigiTour, which DigiTour was this concert that was basically just a bunch of well-known YouTube musicians doing a concert that was like a little tour. I ran into my favorite YouTuber there in the audience. He was there kind of supporting the other YouTube musicians. He and I were talking for a little bit. Because I was lame and still like fangirling at the time, I had asked him to take a picture with me. And he was like, oh my god, yeah, of course. So we were kind of looking for someone around us to grab to take a picture of us. This very famous YouTuber at the time happened to be walking by. I think they were friends already or at least knew each other already. So my YouTuber guy grabs that YouTuber guy and that YouTuber guy was one of the performers that night at the concert. And this guy that was walking past, not only was he headlining the concert that night, he was one of the headliners, but his channel at the time was like killing it. Like he was one of the most popular channels on YouTube at the time. Um, so he grabs him and he's like, oh dude, can you take a picture of us really quick? I don't know if there's just some sort of miscommunication or something. But the famous YouTuber guy starts laughing like it was a joke. So me and my YouTuber guy are looking at each other like... And then he asks again, he's like, no really, can you take a picture of us? And then the famous YouTube musician guy looks at him and goes, are you kidding me? With this like nasty look on his face and then he walks away. He at the time had a lot of fans and I'm assuming a lot of people asking him for a photo. So it was like, I think the fact that we asked him to take a photo of us like offended him or something. I don't know, but it was so awkward. Once he walked away, me and the YouTube guy were like, what the hell just happened? And then we grabbed someone else to take the picture and there was no problem. But yeah, those were my rude YouTuber stories. Most YouTubers I've met are not douchebags at all. There's just a few that seem to get really big-headed. Most YouTubers are pretty nice. Mm, my camera's gonna run out of space. I would love to hear your guys' guesses down below. Um, of which youtubers you guys think I'm talking about when I told the story of the youtuber that I had my first kiss with Oh, sounds so lame. Um <laughs> Not a single person guessed it correctly in the comments. I guess I didn't really give uh, Any great hints, but I want to hear your guesses down below Mmm <sighs> Mmm This chicken is so good 
this is the marinade that I used. The only thing I would say about this one is it's definitely on the sweeter side. It's only a little bit spicy, so I think the next time I use this, I'm going to add a little bit of extra sriracha or something. But yeah, super, super good flavor. So if you guys actually want to see how to make the cheese, I'm going to leave a link down below of the video that I kind of followed from so you guys can see that because I know I didn't really show myself making anything. Ooh, so hot. That's so good. <gasps> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys should definitely try this. It was so effing good. Definitely my favorite thing that I've ever made in a video. Also, as always, let me make sure I don't have food in my teeth. Be sure to leave me any comments down below with any other food suggestions that you want me to eat as well. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! Now I have so much stuff to clean up.